phenomenal gentleman, not only giving us the tools, but also the passion. And this year, we're inaugurating a special award in his name that has been sponsored by the advocates of ISPI. And to talk about the award and to give out our first inaugural award, I'm bringing up Rick Rumble. Macedonia 
from a deteriorating state to a state of continuous improvement, which will change the life of thousands of teachers and probably of tens of thousands of students to the better. So I think what we can do has huge impact and we can trace it back to Geary's ideas. I think he was, and this is not exaggerating either, I think he was a thinker in the tradition of Plato. He believed in pure ideas. If you look at his generic models, you can see that, and he combined it with kind of a very straightforward Cartesian approach. The account is always about rationality, order, structure, and if you look at the drawings in his books, you see that right away. But he already knew that life and business is dirtier, muddier, and more confusing than those nice drawings. And you could see that also. If somebody had the, the luck and the pleasure to see him develop ideas on a flip chart, it started with two neat boxes, and when he ended, it looked more like an abstract piece of art than uh, like, like an explanation of a consulting idea. <clears throat> so he knew about it, and um, he always talked, talked, uh, told people to take this account, to take this into account besides this, this rational approach. I think we had our best times when when we walked the desert in, in Arizona, very early in the morning before breakfast, and we never talked about HPT or consulting. What we did is we talked about politics, which was a little bit an explosive mixture because I think Gary was closer to a conservative side in the US, and I'm probably closer to a socialist side in Europe. So it easily could have led to problems, but it didn't. Um, because we enjoyed those walks so much because we were genuinely interested in understanding why do things look so differently if you take a US American perspective or a European perspective. We loved those walks and I think this shows the, the very fundamental idea that connected us. I think although both of us spend a considerable time of our life teaching other people, um, at the bottom of our heart, we remain learners. This is probably the most fundamental idea he believed in also. I'm quite convinced. Never stop learning. And the more secure you are in what you are doing, the higher the risk that you might be wrong. And I think this made him accessible also. He listened, he always listened, because he was really interested in learning from people. So, one might summarize what he taught us in three very simple rules. Rule number one is take a clear-cut rational approach to understand things. Rule number two is know that there is more about it than this and try to take this into account. And number three is never stop learning. I take this, this award with, um, with gratitude and I'm especially with gratitude to Carol Haig and Monique Müller, because the two of them took the effort to do all the paperwork, and I learned that this is a considerable paperwork to suggest somebody for this award. <laughs> and this is an important award to me because I really feel connected to you. So thank you very much to the two of you. I take it with pride, I'm really honored to get it, and I'm proud because I think an award that is connected with his name should develop into the most important one of this field. And I take it as an, as an obligation, as an obligation to continue to develop the methodology, never stop learning, never stop developing things. Some years ago, um, when, my, when my father passed away, I made him a, a little scum, a star in disguise, so that I could, could address him 
whenever I needed to. I never did. It's kind of a strange idea, but it is a soothing one. I did the very same thing with Gary, and I never addressed him either. But I think this is an appropriate moment to do that. So I'd like you to join me for a moment. And if you please raise from the seats. Some of us lost a dear friend. Some more people lost a personal mentor. I think all of us lost an important teacher. And the profession lost somebody who built the, the biggest part of the foundation of our methodology. So we all owe him. Thank you very much, David. Thank you very much.